Pinot Black here, folks. I got a fresh chemtrail video that I'll try to piece in in the end, so it's going to be really, it won't be choppy. It's just the idea that if I cut in and out of my voice on that one, it'll be me. Uh, this is what you need to pay attention of is the light propagation that came in from outside source, not the sun. Started making NASA wake up back in 98, which big time astronomers and astrologers and basically that's a bunch of BS if they separate they don't separate the idea that they're going to communicate because of re old records of the Sun like ie we are now currently go to my uh, YouTube main page and you will see the latest how close we are and I don't have an update today I might get time to put an update there today pay attention to the legal disclosure that's on there too that they're screwing around with YouTube so this outside super giant light started coming into the Sun or the idea that the sun started directing its light somewhere else. Okay, basically this was uh, this program here. That the idea that on in 1998, there's your date and your time through there, high frequency pattern of stray light in CE3. Okay, these are the uh, the the Lasco. These are satellite and also cameras you never can know with the idea that if, because there are more than one on one so what I'm what the only thing is bleeding through here is the idea of and I'm, I know I say that a lot I've been noticing it when I watch my videos just to make sure that it's coming through clear and everything it's still the idea of theory folks the theory and it's not really a theory it comes down to facts so it's an idea it's pretty much factual I'm gonna start saying factual uh, you see the brightness here uh, the Soho right now, that's what I'm figuring is the idea that the reason I can't find my link because it got mined out of my links and it actually got mined out of my email. And yes, folks, the U.S. government keeps an eye on all of us, Kerasoft and everything like that. So now it may be imaginary. Oh, wow, well, there it is. I didn't see it. But right now they don't let me see where Soho satellite look and there I get a virus. You see what I'm saying? So somewhat of what I'm saying is the truth. So the idea that I was looking for Soho location from my maps that I've showed you before in the past and I was trying to figure, well, they must have to have that Soho satellite stay out of this supergiant material here because the sun's going into the supergiants, okay? And it shoots from behind, so it has to stay away from dangerous objects and get back out this way. That's why this is not a directly behind the sun to earth shot right now. If you remember and go back to my old videos, and I don't have time to go back in there and find the map, but the idea that basically right now to Earth is, I'm not saying for sure, it, well, actually it should be something like, um, if that's in front, the idea that Earth is either over here or over here. Because this is the behind shot, and, in, and that satellite can only get this close because of this supergiant material here, all this brightness, which basically, factually, let me show you. And yes, frequency, folks, they read these pictures with frequencies, feedback, data, digital, but it's exact. I mean, it gives you an exact picture. We can take a picture anywhere in the universe, okay? Also, off the satellites, and also through the uh, satellite telescopes that are out there, which don't have any obstruction by clouds and mass, stuff like that. And as you can see, there was starting to be supergiant material back there in 98, okay? These photos are 98. They're dated. I don't mess with no dates. There you go. You'll see them. Okay, so the supergiant material and stuff like that was behind the sun then. Or, you know, the sun had already started to move into the supergiants with this material. Plus, also, naturally, there's probably material in the Milky Way around the, the sun, too. But the stray light is what you can't get away from. The idea that there was stray light coming to the sun, okay? So the supergiants, finally, the sun starts coming back to the Big Bang areas, Big Bangs, Big Bangs areas, okay? That's what I'm starting to say. Because the idea that we know all this stuff's going on, all these asteroid belts, i.e. the pictures of my last few videos, watch the last few, where they show where the idea, the Earth and all the light we got around it, and also what I've also showed you on close by and everything like that, objects and stuff like that from the NASA and all the universities' sites, okay? So this stray light is coming in, and the idea that you see that on here, and also we do not have currently uh, our what we either figure that it was either mercury on fire or a comet so you need to figure out where mercury's been how far away from the sun and the idea how far away that that object was in the shots and so forth and so on because we know that s there, that uh, comet lovejoy was way more than just one object okay we know that by looking at the video but you watch my videos and it'll prove that there was way more than one object in the and it could have been Comet Lovejoy was also an asteroid or something like that. But basically, it's a triangulation of stars and comets or asteroids going through space. They come in threes when uh, a lot of hard material gets banged into a couple planets. 
anytime in any kind of big bang se sequence, the idea that when they blow up in space, just like if you any research and in the future, I'll be able to show you, you can tell from a man-made object to a mother nature, nature, space, God, spirits, whatever you want to call it, in space, any space naturally through phenomenon of everything that w makes everything, is the idea that when a the object of space blows up natural it is it will be in like fragments of who knows how many clusters of stars but the idea there's a bunch of triangulation three stars that it minutes down to an of an atom in space when a rocket or like because I will be able to show you I'm not going to say what but there has been objects blown up in space and the idea that they fracture out like Lincoln logs in space you will see them okay so the idea that if you see something way far away in space I do not believe in aliens I do not believe in any spacecraft. I believe that we do have a other side, like everybody always jokes about or psychologically messes with people about the idea I'll see you on the other side. When we're dead, we're gone. Flashlight bulb burns out, boom, you're dead. Okay? Uh, the I the facts are beginning to be more and more clear when you look at Earth and shapes and so forth and so on that you know uh, that the idea that the we man has been allowing a lot longer and the idea that we were up in the sky way before we invented the airplane and probably the hot air balloon but the idea that that some kind of a balloon or something got us up in the air in the first place and we were on the moon a way hell of a lot longer before thousands of years before we ever set moon on on the moon with uh, any space program and here's the other most recent Lasco behind and the idea, the factual, I'm trying to cut the idea word out for a while, but the idea, and I haven't had anybody tell me to do that, I just basically noticed that myself. So I don't really listen to anybody that makes any kind of quotes or comments unless it's like I would, you know, there has been a couple things in the past where someone's made a comment, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of true. So anyway, we have not got our Lovejoy main large object that came by or whether it's Mars or not. Let's look at s other shots. So I can say IE a lot, and IE, here we go, idea exactly, idea exactly, IE, here, that the idea that that should be, now this is from behind, and remember with what we're to the right, okay, this is all super giant action out here in the brightness to the right, so the, remember when you're looking at these kind of the core, the B, the, these uh, Bs and As, they're a, a head, but when you get this coloration, they don't really denote to us. Uh, you know, I don't pay attention being, you know, I can waste time looking and seeing exactly, okay, well, it's that, sh that slide shot that we always look for. So the idea, you, the, the factual, i.e., darkness this side, more or less to lead towards Earth, and this is all the supergiants in the sun back there toward the right. So the idea that this comet there is going off into the supergiants back. The satellite is shooting from behind as close as it can get to staying out of this material back here in the supergiants on the sun where the sun is in the supergiants, okay? So Earth is back here in the clear and stuff like that. And we have to pay attention about getting towards the sun and getting into that supergiant material, i.e. the material, the fit photos that I showed you down at that's coming through. And let me sh show you a blown up shot of that so that I can see, you can be able to see the heat coming off of that. And I'll go ahead and come up here and show you what we've got going on on there is our axis and down on the bottom our axis also take a look at all the sun shots when you get a chance to see if you can see any more material earthquakes would be these low areas of pressure thinness in our atmosphere pushing in and we are factually moving big time on the lower axis x your axis on the polar antarctic Okay, so some kind of action is blocking out down there, probably a storm, let's see. So getting pretty interesting because a, a lot of light, as you can see, so the idea, i.e., light from the supergiants and so forth, because the idea pretty much tw exactly 24 hours is of daylight, even though there's a storm. That was from the view to the south. Let's take a look at the other view here that go with the northeast. I'm not going to waste time showing this picture yesterday either, but either they're getting supplies or they're getting the hell out of there. Whether it's because of what they're seeing getting close to Antarctica and their station down there, i.e. the idea that the, the stuff out of the sky. And remember the Bible, folks, history, the idea that stuff comes around in dark ages. People will freak out. They'll think it's ghosts and all kinds of stuff. And all it is is light and propagation from outer space. And yes, we might end up having objects hit space, hit Earth, but who knows? Now, either they're getting out or they didn't like that idea, but the idea that this was also shown up before and basically either loading and bringing in supplies 
or packing up and getting out. And it could be at any time certain scientists might be leaving. So they use it for an airstrip out there. So the idea that also in the other night's photos, it also showed this here stuff here where I'll show you the idea that you will see aircraft loaders. Okay. So they're either getting in or getting out on some, some sort of stuff. Okay. Or sending experiments back or something. So we have a unique triangulation, even though we have the comet gone. And like I say, we've seen the triangulation of the shots what the guy from Australia showed when it was coming in. So then we have this triangulation here too, and then also we have the uh, unique, uh, the screen's dirty, so we've had this over to the right going on, and that's part of uh, more than likely the supergiant stuff. Now I can be to I, I just do not believe that I can be wrong on the supergiants being, not being the brightness here. It's also the bright orange and red that you see when you look at sky on Google Telescope, okay? So they've showed us, and I showed you in my last few videos, watch my last few videos, I showed you the shot of Earth. Let me see if I can go to photos. I.e. witches from Eastwick, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, you're going to see the witching action of the idea of these dark objects that get melded in. Because this is a storm that's going on, but this is not storm particles, folks. This is stuff that gets, that's either asteroid belt material that's actually getting that close to Earth, down there at Antarctica, or... The idea that it's just getting holographed to Earth, okay? If you see all those dark objects, it's not birds, folks. It's not a flock of anything down there at the Antarctic, okay? They hardly get any birds or seagulls unless it's good weather for a long period of time during the summer months, okay? So all that pepper that you see there, all these are all objects. And let me show you a photo that I captured the other day and I showed it on my last video that the idea, and you, you see this dark object. That is the base there, I believe in the center but as you see that other stuff move around see that's the base but this other stuff flying around that's what's going to freak people out if we keep getting these images here in 2012 and so forth through the years okay and if it never is amounts to anything and it's just light propagation and holograms everybody's going to pull their little religious bullshit or whatever they want to pull okay not religious the idea that they'll say it's ghosts or something like that. It's just what material is up there and the supergiants are going to send those holograms down here to Earth and then we also, we don't know how far back in time on the clock that the idea that w the sun went into the supergiants at this all time recorded, is it the dark ages? What year is it? Okay, Because we have lost track of time and there's not any institute out there and if there is, there's people that are holding the poker card that they know and they're not going to tell nobody when this time was. As you watched the clock, it went back and forth but that was that action and the idea there was a certain time around the 10 o'clock hour in the morning that the sun came up and in the earlier part of the video uh, as you see it's dark it should be darkish time there the sun would be around the other side of the earth so the eye this is ie the brightness here at this time is our bright Rigel Cantaris B coming up again and as it also did earlier in the video and actually it did it a lot more than that in the earlier part of the video because it lapses over two mornings and two two evenings all right I, this is one of those materials and objects, and you can see the heat on the back side, folks, because I zoomed in, and you can see the coloration of the heat off of it. So naturally in space, some objects had, just like the SR-71 Blackbird, there was an elements to a planet or something that ended up with the same elements, and that's more than likely where we ended up getting the SR-71 Blackbird scientific material that we put on the airplanes to absorb the heat or actually not absorb it to actually push it off because as you can see here there is heat on the back side of this when we blow up to a thousand percent let me show you the pictures as we go through it make sure I have the right spot and there you go and the idea that we were at the station at these times okay and then I'll just keep going through the pictures because you have that object there and this is that's what was our object and then like I just showed you the shots basically uh, we have a storm down there ie uh, fires in the world right now you need to pay attention this was a recent fire pull up uh, I should be able to also throw you this smoke here okay there was a fire in Nevada but there was also this fire over in uh, Africa as you've seen you can go back to the map that I just showed you that was up current yeah, there's money stuff going on and viruses being thrown around the internet taking windows down not letting uh, videos play all kinds of stuff keeping track of everything ladies and gentlemen so there was the storm earlier this morning or earlier that morning that today is the 18th 
So that picture was early GMT time on the 18th, okay? So that's about six hours ahead of East Coast America time. And this is tomorrow on Chemtrails and Fires Around the World in my next video. Read legal